Raft of Wandering Otters, I'm going to have to uh, go ahead and introduce this uh, part two of me wandering around uh, after some election kerfuffle uh, discussion. This was uh, last Sunday, um, so I'm only now getting around to posting it. i got a night ride coming up with uh, Paul and me. That will be on our next video. I'm glad you were able to jo uh, join me today. I hope you uh, see, come see what I see, part two of ele Election Kerfuffle. Thank you. So says Susan, too. Uh, yep. Shall we just see on a less windy day what's going on up the street to the left or here? Did, did we need to just get home? No, you know what? Let's go to the left here. Maybe even do a drive through in the um, RV park. I don't know that I, I don't know that they mind. I hope they don't mind. By the way, Susan and I are still, um, uh, as I may mention before, now we're going to be looking for a diesel pickup. But I hit a snag thinking about it. There's two things affecting my decision here in California. Number one, for diesel trucks, um, you have to have. Uh, by 2010, or two, I'm sorry, 2020, that's this year, um, you were, you're supposed to have a, an engine that is um, made in 2010 or later. So, <laughs> um, that, there's that complication. And then uh, uh, um, there is an exception, though. If you have a, uh, you can grandfather in if you have a, a diesel truck or diesel vehicle that is uh, from 1997 or, or older. So, um, so I thought, well, hey, hot darn, let's go ahead and start looking for um, those because those don't even have to be smogged here in California. Well, <clears throat> I think a lot of people are on to it because for one thing, those uh, old Power Stroke diesel uh, trucks, I think they're the 7.3 liter, um, those... Uh, don't have the smog stuff on it. And what makes a lot of these uh, newer diesel uh, engines fail is the, um, um, is the smog stuff. It makes them have bad mileage. It makes them uh, you know, have things go wrong and uh, uh, break down. So a uh, big cause of engine failure. So uh, anyway, long story short, <laughs> I'm not the only one who's had that thought because I noticed that you actually can end up paying more for a 1997 uh, diesel pickup than you would for uh, a 2012, uh, or a, certainly for a 2006 2008 diesel pickup. So people have caught on and um, are, have figured that out. And so now those have become very much in demand. True story. So that leaves me looking for um, diesel trucks that are 2011 or newer. The only problem is, is I don't want to put more than $30,000 into a diesel truck. And one big reason is is that uh, state of California is phasing out uh, fossil fuel uh, vehicles. And uh, I didn't know they had tent cabins here. Huh. Wow. Lance, Lance uh, trailers. Oh, I really like Lance. There's a Redwood, that's nice. So now we're looking at fifth wheels and um, bumper pole travel trailers. Uh, 
kind of get a little more uh, space for the buck with a fifth wheel. Uh, but then they they kind of know that, and it costs a little more for the average fifth wheel. It's a little more complicated towing and stuff. Uh, you know, your your life is a little more a little more complicated with a fifth wheel than it would be with a uh, um, bumper pull trailer. But there's advantages and disadvantages to both. So anyway, I'm back to looking for a 2011 or newer diesel pickup. My problem is, is my budget, like I said, I don't want to spend about any more than $30,000. And a typical, and 2011 and 2012 Ford diesel pickups, the power stroke during those years, were kind of notorious for having some, some problems, things that go wrong. Not major, well, in some ways major, but anyway, yeah, they can be expensive and that can be a hidden expense when you're looking at a used truck. So I'd kind of prefer to go with a 2013 or newer, but that's putting me into the 35,000 and higher range. We need to get a crew cab because there's three of us. Um, when, uh, I would like to have a 4x4 just so I have the torque and traction to uh, get out of uh, any kind of mess I might get into. So long story short, um, we're probably going to have to wait a year or two for prices to come down. Now there's another question, will they come down? Um, with the state of California basically ba making um, fossil fuel vehicles more rare, a very instant, interesting phenomenon may happen here where um, gas and diesel uh, vehicles actually start appreciating, actually increasing or holding their value, which is just insane. I mean, unless it's a classic car, uh, most cars will depreciate. Um, that's another reason why I don't care to get into a motorhome because the depreciation <coughs> is very severe um, in a motorhome. So, uh, Well, I think I've blathered about all I can. Um, I hope you enjoyed what you saw today. It is a gorgeous day today. Um, although, uh, if uh, rain wants to come back, it's more than welcome to come back because we need you, rain, big time. But I guess that'll have to be it for now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this particular video right here. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. And uh, um, if there's something else that you would like to see in this area here, let me know and I'll see if I can squeeze it into one of my videos. Um, I know that uh, you might want to see surfers and stuff like that. I would probably go out to... Uh, What's the name of it? Asilomar Beach. Uh, if I wanted to, uh, to show you surfers. Such as it is, um, because of uh, Paul's peculiarities or um, um, sensory sensitivities, it's hard for me to get too far away, uh, especially if he's not with me. And he absolutely refuses to go anywhere during the daytime now. So and very limited and narrow range of options for nighttime. So we're, we're hanging in there. I hope you are too. We're gonna beat this COVID. We've got a vaccine coming. Um, gosh, uh, I, I hope people are ready to give uh, um, credit where credit's due for how COVID was handled. Anyway, Raft of Winery Nodders, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for joining me today.
Good luck, charm. Oh, I ain't mine tonight. <laughs> what do you have? To hold tonight. I'm Good luck, charm, oh, be mine tonight. To have, to hold tonight. Oh, yeah. Thank you.